Europe must stop buying raw materials from Africa. The, the region should uh, take this one up, those Jews who are clever, <laughs> for, for knowing that, uh, that uh, when they invest here, it's good for Europe, it's good for us. Good, that's, that's what we have been telling them. Africa will develop with or without support from Europe. The problem was us. It was not Europe which was the problem, it was us who were asleep. A lot of uh, social infrastructure between us and the West. But somehow the West have been uh, uh, really badly led. They don't have good leaders. Uh, it, it takes long to get good leaders because they had uh, Adam Smith, who helped uh, to clarify the vision of where wealth comes from, because that was a big uh, problem. Uh, there was a uh, I, uh, conceptual, conceptual. How do we move forward? It's not so easy, because like from the time of the of the Renaissance, for almost uh, 300 years, there was confusion uh, which way to go. This is a very good initiative because it is a win-win, a win-win formula. It is a time that the Britain Foundation has to do the, to do the selection of the international companies that are being uh, trusted and are being capable of uh, actually implementing the projects that they are going to deliver into Uganda. And that process of selection of, uh, of the companies takes a bit of time because there are all sorts of processes. I'll come back to that. And then eventually, once that has been done, there will be the availability of the funds that is going to be delivered to Uganda. Nothing will have to be provided from our annual budget. It will still be all paid for by the Bridging Foundation. And the projects are going to be managed by one of the, what they call the big four, that is uh, KPMG, um, Ernest & Young, Deloitte's, and Price uh, Waterhouse Coopers. So those will be selected for each project to be able to do the management, because Bridging Foundation is not going to do the management uh, hem here themselves. They will actually contract that out to uh, those big four. Um, since the signing of the, co the agreement in April, on April 12th um, last year, Rufora has been engaging with the Ugandan universities to be ready for these projects. We visited Mbarara University of Science and Technology. The land is available, the institutional support <coughs> processes are in place and they're waiting for kicking, jump kicking off this process.